So I've got a brain teaser for you today. Here we go. Hey, Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso. So launching a new course on Fusion 360 and ran this by some of my students. Asked them to create this shape. It's a T-shape, but here's the challenge. I want you to sketch this out in one sketch and you only get one dimension. And that dimension needs to control everything so that if we were to change it now from 45 to 80, the whole thing should scale up. How do you do this with one sketch, one dimension, using constraints? The key is to use constraints creatively. So go ahead and pause the video, see if you can figure it out. All right, here we go for the next little hint. All right, so looking at this sketch, here's the next little hint. Use equal and be creative with how many segments you use. All right, so to do this, I started a sketch and I just did lines starting at the origin, one line going up, two, one going up, and then two going over. Now I'm only sketching half of it because I'm gonna mirror it. This should be horizontal or vertical. All right, so here's the key. Need to just make sure that these entities are all equal. And it's good practice just getting more comfortable with constraints, getting creative with these. Now one challenge I've found when trying to add the equal constraint is this line. So if you don't sketch this line, and in fact, just select everything with your window select, right click, equal, it will work. It works great, everything goes to equal. But I think for some reason, that additional line for the Fusion 360 sketch solver is just too much. So when I have that line in there, now that's an additional design constraint, it has to work around. You try to do the equal, you get an error. So the workaround I've found is to do it in little groups. So if I select, you know, holding command or shift or control, I'm going to need to select these two and then these. Just want to make sure that they're all linked. Okay, now for adding the dimension, that should drive all of them. Should be fully defined. So if you were to click on any of these lines, you should notice that value down at the bottom is matching up with your dimension. Now for the final little step, the easy one, go find sketch mirror. We're mirroring all of these entities across the mirror line, Sim create symmetry. And now we have one dimension that drives them all. Kind of a funny one, but hopefully it helps you get more creative with some of your more complex problems that you have with design in Fusion 360. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.